Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create a constraint layout in Android Studio and align all the components correctly in it. So basically in constraint layout, all the components, if you don't align it, the screen gets distorted when you play it on Android, right? When you install the application. So I'm going to show you how to align those components. So let's jump into it. So yeah, first of all, we'll click on start new Android project. Let's go my application next and we'll select an empty activity and main activity and finish. Once we click finish, a uh, new, like a big window will open and the gradle build will start. Thinking. Once the Gradle is built, now when we entered main activity, right, the, then a Java file will be created and an XML file will get linked to it automatically. And by default, we'll have we'll have a constraint layout. So we are going to create a like type of a login page in the constraint layout. So I could give you an idea about it. So it's running the tasks. Constraint layout is not like mostly used layout because the image gets distorted, but still I'll give you an idea. Yeah, the setup was successfully. Yeah, the main activity Java file is open now. Then comes the main activity dot XML. I'll just get this down. Activity main dot XML. So this is the design part and this is the text part, right? So in design part, we'll see how the output looks and in the text part, we'll do all the coding. I'll just delete this in the world. I don't need this. Yeah, text. And here I just on a slide preview. Yeah. So let's go to the design part. So see, this is the constraint layout, right? So in this, you can drag and drop all those things. So we have to create a login page, right? So I just take one text view. Uh, um, then I'll take yeah, plain text and I'll take again a text view then the password field and then a button to just sign in and all that stuff and next now here first yeah errors will be there press alt enter to solve it and see add Tools ignore missing constraints attribute. Then we'll just select on the missing constraints attribute. We'll just do it for all of them. Alt enter. Just basically alt enter on each of them. Yeah, so all errors gone. So these are the warnings. These also you can solve by clicking alt enter and hard coded text. So the warning will go. That's not much important, so let's go yeah, to the aligning part. Wait, we'll go in the text first. So here, name, they are, they are showing something name. So we don't need this. This is the by default attribute. I'll just cut it out. Yeah, text view, I'll just name it like uh, username. Username. password hmm. and the button will have sign in then now the main part comes here I'll just, yeah. so I'll just right click on this center horizontally in parent then you'll click right click center vertically in parent so for aligning you just do these two steps first and then align wherever you want it on the screen like i want it here same for all other things horizontally in parent vertically in parent align it. just to make it look better i'll just expand it horizontally no, let it be. yeah and just expand it like this this must be okay 
same for all other things horizontally in parent then I'll go vertically in parent uh, yeah vertically in parent center horizontally in parent vertically in parent so I need it here password I need it here assign in center horizontally vertically so I'll tell you why I did this because if you don't do this all of these things will just go up here and overlap each other on when you switch it on the screen of your mobile phone right so once this is done yeah I'll just put a little increase the size of this thing Android X size and I'll do it 20 SP Control C Oops, paste it here Shit Yeah, let it be at times X size 20 SP Then so this is how your UI will look. I'll just increase it a bit from here. Yeah, so it looks good. Yeah, once this is done, so this is how constraint layout will look, right? I'll just show you how it looks on the phone. So basically my AVD is a little slow. So I'll just debug it on my phone and show it to you. This is how the application will look. I'll just place this here. Yeah, so username, password, and this is the text field like I can enter like abc at the rate gmail.com and the password field will take the text but in this form nice then I'll just click on sign in this button I can use this I'll show how to link the activity in other videos it, the link will be in the description afterwards so this is how you can create a constraint layout and align the components in it. So basically this was my first video on Android Studio. I will keep on posting further tutorials. So subscribe if you want to see any of those tutorials. And if you like the video and if you find it useful then leave a like and share the video. Thank you.